Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. Today, I will show you how to create a lineament and a lineament density map using ArcGIS Desktop. So let's get started. The first step is go to that section, add our dem file. So this is my dem file. Let me add the dem file into my ArcGIS. So this is our dem file. I have downloaded this dem from USGS and it is a SRTM 30 meter resolution dem file. So let's get started. Go to the section called Arc Toolbox and go to the Spatial Analyst and go to the Surface. Go to the Hill Shade. Now double click the Hill Shade. Select your input dem as our dem. Choose your output location. So let me save it as hill shade. Hill shade as 315 as our azimuth and 45 as our altitude. So save our file. Click save. So let me check this error. So let me solve this. So in this case, uh, our first combination is 315 and azimuth as 315 and altitude as 45. Now click OK. So this is our first combination called with azimuth 350 and altitude 45. So again, go to the section Arc Toolbox, click Hill Shade. So let me add my DIMM file. Select your output location. So let me select the combination. This time, let me select the azimuth as a 270. So in this case, I will select as 270 as my azimuth. So let me select the output file location. So let me save my file. So now click OK. So this is our second combination. So this is 270.45. So this is 315.45. Let me turn off my DEM file. So let us try, uh, try more combinations. Go to the section Hill Shade. Now input dem file as our dem file, input raster in as a dem file and choose the output location. So in this uh, third combination let me try as my azimuth as 200 and altitude as 50. Now save. Let me change this. So now click OK. So this is our 200 azimuth and 50 altitude hill shade map. So let me change the difference, see the difference between 200 and 270. Let me turn off 200. Let me turn off 315. So, so let me try other combinations too. 
So again, go to the section called Hill Shade. Input raster as our dem file. So let me save as. So click save. Choose your azimuth as 90 degrees. And now choose your altitude as 60. Now click OK. So this is our fourth combination that is with azimuth as 60 and altitude as 60 with azimuth as 90 and altitude as 60. So let me change the difference between uh, 200 and 90. Let me turn off 90. So there is a slight uh, difference we can find here we can able to see the alignment here in 90 let me turn off so in uh, 200 this uh, line like feature is slightly visible now but in 90 let me turn on 90 so 90 this alignment is now clearly visible So in this way you can create uh, n number of combinations using Hillshade, uh, Hillshade tool. In this way uh, trying different combination can uh, give you a more accurate uh, mapping of our lineaments in our study area. So please try a different combinations. I have tried 90 and 60, 250, 270, 45 and 315 and 45. So now let's start our digitizing our lineament from our combinations. So go to the section called catalog and go to the shape files. It's my shape file, right click and go to the section new and shape files. So now let me name as a lineament. So feature type is, it is polyline. So let me choose my coordinate system. Go to the section called edit. Go to the projected coordinate system, UTM. So let me choose a WGS 1984 UTM zone 44 north. Click OK. Now click OK. So this is our lineament shape file. Let now let me go to the editor. Start editing. Click OK. Choose your lineament shape file and click OK. So now let us start dig digitizing our lineaments so now go to the section called create features let me choose the lineaments select lines so the lineament is all about is a linear features like a fractures or a faults or a shear zone a uh, linear is lineaments are all about all the linear features so let's start digitizing our linear features. So let's start digitize. Let me turn off my uh, other layers. So let me turn on hill shade 31545. So let, we can we can able to see the different uh, linear features now. 
So let me digitize this one. And let me digitize this one. So let me change the color. So let us digitize. Let me zoom in. So this is a linear feature. Now let me uh, select this one too. Let me select the ridges. So in this combination, there are many uh, liniments are more available here. There is another liniment. So let me try other combinations too. Now let me turn off 315.45 and turn on 270.45. So here we can able to see this is a liniment. So here is another liniment. So in this way, you have to digitize all the liniments available in our different combinations. So there's still more uh, liniments available in this combination. Let me try other combinations. 250. So here you can able to see this uh, liniment now. These are called uh, geomorphic liniments. Let me select this ridges. They all oriented in a linear feature, in a linear fashion. So let me select this one. It is a valley. Uh,
So let me try the turn off this uh, 250 combination and turn on 9060 combination. So here you can able to uh, see the clear picture of this linear limit here. Let me disguise it too. So there's another combination. There's another uh, linear feature here. So here you can be able to see a lot of uh, linear features. Let me show you an example and map this one. And let me uh, map this one too. So in this way, you can able to map all your lineaments in your study area. So let me turn off my combinations and turn on my dem file. So let me save my edits, go to the editor, save edits and stop edits. So now let us proceed towards creating our lineament density map. Go to the section called Arc Toolbox. Go to the section called Spatial Analyst and Density. Go to the section called Density. Click Point Density. Double click it. Now let me input polyline features as my lineament file. So population field you select as none. Now let me select my output raster file as line uh, lineament density. So now let me click OK. So let me turn off my dim file, turn off my dim file, and go to the limit density file. Right click, go to the properties, symbology. Let me select as a file class. So let me change the color as as this so click apply and okay so the blue is a region where there is a high lineament density generally in case of uh, hydrologically uh, if you're talking about it a uh, place with a higher uh, lineament density there's a higher chance of uh, water gets percolated into this uh, lineament uh, linear features so if we have a higher lineament density like the blue one as a higher Percolation of groundwater. So, this is how you can uh, prepare a lineament and lineament density map in RGS. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel Terra Spatial for more contents.